This is what we call a problem within a problem. So we have an exponential equation here, and then we have the variable in the exponent position with the log. So it's almost as if we have a problem within a problem within another problem. So let's begin. Notice that 2 is the base, and we know that 16 is 2 to the 4th power. So let's go ahead and change that 16 into 2 to the 4th power. So, that would, so that's going to be our first step. Then, we want the base to be 2, not 1 over 2 to the 4th power. So we are going to change that 1 over 2 to the 4th power into 2 to the negative 4th power. Since when you take the reciprocal, the exponent becomes negative power. Now that the base on the left side is 2 and the base on the right side is 2, we're able to take that exponent on the left, exponent on the right, set them equal to each other so we can solve for the value of x. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the reciprocal of the left, which will be log base 5x all over 2. And I'm also going to take the reciprocal of the right, which will be 1 over negative 4. Then multiply by 2 to get rid of that 2 in the denominator. Multiply by 2 on the right side also, leaving us with log of base 5x equals negative 1 half. And then we're almost done. I'm going to be using this uh, log. I'm going to take this logarithmic equation, change it into an exponential equation, meaning take this into 5 to the negative half power equals x. And that actually is our final answer. However, for those of you who prefer decimal answers, that's going to equal 0 0.447 rounded to three decimal places. Thank you.